Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We are driving. We're going down the road, and it is 5.37 a.m. We got old Frederick. Say hi, Frederick. He has not been on a duck hunt yet this year. Uh, this will be his first one. So, I know he's excited to get out, aren't you, Fred? You look excited. You look tired, buddy. I went to bed last night. Uh, just... I couldn't get duck hunting off my mind. Um, I'm like, you know what? If I wake up early, I'm not gonna set my alarm, but if I wake up early, I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna go try some public. Um, it is Sunday morning. Not the best morning, not the best day and time to go try public uh, because there's probably gonna pe be people here. Uh, we are very, very, very limited on water access huntable water on public in general is uh, very remote this year it um, it's a lot different this year it kind of sucks but we're gonna make the best out of it uh, we're almost to the marsh fingers crossed that there um, isn't somebody in the spot that I want to go to um, <clears throat> We are, uh, shooting light is actually 7.10 a.m., so I'm plenty early. I'm, you know, an hour and a half early. Uh, but it being Sunday, I'm curious to see if people already beat me to the spot I want to go to. I walked in yesterday, checked water, found my, my hole that I usually like to go to. Um, so, we're about there. Let's see if anybody beat us or not. <laughs> I really don't want to go out there and sit in the cold. It's 45 degrees. Uh, feels colder than that. The north wind's kicking pretty good. Uh, I don't want to have to go out there too early and just freeze my bunions off, but let's see. <sighs> All right, it's six o'clock. Um, pulled up to my favorite spot. <clears throat> There's a gentleman walking down the dirt road from the parking lot, dragging his sled behind him. Buddy, I did not catch your name. Uh, I pulled up to him. I'm like, hey, man, how's it going? Uh, which which pool are you going to? And he's like, oh, this one right here. And he was like, wait, you have a YouTube channel. I'm like, yeah. He's like, Bobby. I'm like, yeah. He was like, I seen you blew up your freaking silencer. I'm like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> nice meeting you, man. Should have got your name and number. Or, heck, I should have just asked and see if you wanted a couple buddies to hunt with. He, he was by himself. But uh i think we have a spot locked down i'm sitting on the road i got all of my gear ready i'm ready to just hop out and roll um just gonna try to wait it out if any cars start coming down the road i can just spill out lock the truck and get to trucking i think we're gonna have quite quite the walk-in um i have not scouted this particular hopefully water i'm hoping that there's water um so Kind of going in blind today at this point. I should have just seen if he wanted a buddy to hunt with. May not see a bird. Who knows? I just wanted to get out here. Hope you guys are ready for the show. Good boys. Come here. Sit. Oh, well, well, well. Five minutes till shooting light. Uh, sunrise today is uh, 6 4, or sorry. Is that birds? 740 so shooting light is 710 uh there was one shot it sounded like way north northwest of me sound like maybe it wasn't public maybe on a private pond or something and just one shotgun went off about 11 minutes early so about six minutes ago i was like what in the heck was that are you serious so hopefully everybody here at the marsh plays by the rules and um doesn't shoot early you know 710 is the mark today wish us luck here we go <laughs> it's cloudy uh so um if we do have birds right at shooting light it's gonna be dark on this gopro and i am sorry one man band today i don't have a guy filming for me just me and old freddy ricky chilling out here he's being a good boy aren't you He's excited. He wants some ducks in his mouth. I know you do. I know you ain't got to tell me twice, man. I, I can see it in your eyes. I've seen it in your eyes all summer, man. I know. Here. Heel. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Set. Up. Oh, there is the first shots. It is 7-10. Right on the money. Alrighty. Here we go. 
Heel, back here. Heel. You can't see anything. Oh my gosh, that was close. Whoa. Oof, that guy's a lot closer than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where are you at? Heel. Fred. <laughs> oh, well. Let's check the time. Give you a little update. It's now 7.47. Plenty light out now. Personally, I and Fred have not seen one duck. Um, right at shooting light, y'all heard it. Um, I don't know, four or five shots going off around me. This guy's really close. Um, he's been blowing his duck call at Blackbirds, I think, which, hey, power to you. I don't know if he's seeing something I don't, but I don't believe so. There he goes again. I mean, like, there's a hawk flying around and some blackbirds, but that's about it, man. Well, my GoPro cut me off. Uh, the GoPro is being a GoPro. First day having it when it's cold and the battery already went through one. <laughs> Barely filmed anything. But, uh, as I was saying, right now it's 7.50. Uh, Fred and I, us personally, we have not seen one duck. Have we, Fred? No, we haven't. The guy next to us, he shot a couple times. Sounded like he went tromping out in the water. He's on bigger water than me. It was really hard finding the water this morning. I'll show you my hole here in a minute. That sounded horrible. Uh, but a handful of shots right at, uh, right at shooting light. Um, have not heard one since, really. Uh, the guy next to me, he's been blowing his duck call. I don't know if he sees something that I don't. The only thing that has been flying is blackbirds and hawks. I've heard one pheasant. Still haven't even seen a duck though. <laughs> but you know, uh, nice getting out here. It's good to see folks getting out here, just giving it a go um, on their day off, Sunday morning, you know, before church type of deal. And uh, they're probably just like me. I've scouted this place all last week, um, two days ago, still didn't see anything. Just hoping that there's some moving birds today. And there, I, I thought there would be. This north wind, new fresh moving birds, it might take a minute. I'm gonna wait it out for a little bit here. Oh man. Well, it's now 8, <laughs> 8 8.16. Fred, you don't have to get in the water. I'm gonna show you this hole, this is really cool. Uh, like I was saying, limited water, limited, limited this year. Um, <clears throat> is what it is, but it was really hard finding this in the dark. It was the first water I came to. Um, it's really neat, man. Uh, it's sitting at 43 degrees. The wind chill uh, makes it feel like it's 37 to 39. It's cold. I did not wear enough clothes. Today I'm sporting the old hip waders, y'all. Um, these bad boys, very cheap. They're like under 50 bucks. This is my second year having them, and I will tell you right now, um, if you have to go on a long walk-in like I did today, and it's not crazy cold. This is about the coldest I would wear them. Uh, this is actually the first time this season that my feet are actually really cold. Uh, but it makes it a lot easier walking in really far, you know, without waders on. But check this out. So Buddy has sit down there on that big water. I don't know if you can see the big water. But then it's kind of just flooded out here. Looks like they mowed this uh, before they flooded it. It's just a little strip. I like the little cove down here. I didn't see that until I was already set up, but it's only about 20 yards wide and just a long strip. It's really neat, man. Good water, a little over ankle deep. I got two spinners. No, I have never owned teal actual spinners. Uh, I got 16 floaters out. They're all teal, just made it as big as possible. Once the ducks do show up, whenever that might be, <laughs> uh, or even if they 
who knows there's probably a bunch of ducks around i heard a bunch of shooting north of us on private uh right at shooting night but ever since then it's everything's just shut off so i would think today that being this cold we would have had a good push of ducks man i'm gonna wait it out a little longer just to make sure it's not one of them late morning arrival things but i really want to shoot some ducks in this little strip marsh here this is so cool it would make for some just fast passes uh close shooting better have your eye on them because they're gonna be hauling butt in here Fred don't care. He's just glad to be out here, you know. He does want a duck in his mouth, though. So we may not shoot anything on this video, but uh, I've had a lot of folks um, reach out uh, to book a hunt. And a lot of folks, man, the first thing they say, and it makes me really proud to hear it, is, uh, Bob, uh, you're my favorite duck hunting channel. And the reason is, is that uh, because you're the most relatable. And... Um, it might be because I've been doing it so long. It might be because I'm a dad and I'm older than some others. Um, but I am here to help you guys learn how to waterfowl hunt. And uh, today may not be the best example of that. Uh, but me and Fred are just itching to get out here. And uh, I hope you guys are doing the same. Whether you're shooting them or not, I hope you all are getting out there and enjoying it. Um, hopefully we'll all start getting some birds here soon. 15 minutes later, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I figured, you know, I've had a lot of people uh, that have been asking for the Foul Fridays and a lot of people have been asking about tips for public land. So we might as well go through some of my main tips um, since we're not shooting anything, right? So number one, if you are hunting public land, guys, I highly, highly recommend that you get out there um you know midday walk it out walk through it if it's walk-in only you know and it's not too large or whatever you need to get in there and do some scouting on foot to see where the water is because like this place um relatively speaking the water is usually in the same place every year but like this year um if i would have walked this dike and seen this water i would have known exactly how far i would I had to go to get two water. So number one, do some scouting, find your water. Number two, number two, um, anytime, anytime I'm walking public hunting, um, I pack as light as possible. Um, the guy I, I met this morning on the on the road, he, he, awesome guy, very nice, but man, you're making it hard on yourself. You know, uh, not say anything bad or, or anything. Maybe maybe you're new, but here you don't need a sled. Um, if you need a sled, you're probably bringing way too much stuff. You're, you know, um, here anyways, because it's it's got dikes that you walk. You don't have to walk through the water at all. Uh, number one, so pack light. Just like me today, I, I ditched uh, my blind bag. I have my uh, spinners, my spinner bag. This is where both of my spinners go in. Everything goes in there and I just use it as my blind bag so I don't have to carry two bags for zero reasons. So slam your gear down as much as possible because even if it's two of you, you're gonna be hauling in a lot of stuff. Like today I hauled in that bag with two spinners in it, had my shotgun shelves in there, my donuts, my energy drink, um, and then 16 floaters and my gun, right? I was full, so don't make it a struggle. Uh, number three, number three, don't overdress because if you're walking in really far, you don't want to be completely toast and worn out. Worn out. Now, today I could have wore a little bit more underneath the old hoodie and some thicker socks. That would have been nice. Uh, and I have a t-shirt on under this, so I'm, I'm kind of cold. Uh, so, uh, number four, number four. Here, look at me. If I see ducks, all I'm going to do is crouch down and not move. I have seen so many people at this marsh haul in, lay down blinds, A-frames, blinds in general. Guys, if you're walking in 
don't lug a blind with you. Just find a good spot to sit and don't move. Even if it's not the best hide like this, um, just don't move. Sit down on your butt, don't move. Hauling in blinds, that'll kill you out here. That would, if I had to haul in a blind this morning by myself, oh my gosh, you would have been doing it, Fred. You would have been hauling it in, dude. There's zero way. So, I think all in all, and oh, number five, don't overdo it with decoys. Don't overdo it. Unless you have five guys, four guys going in with you, and you have more hands, uh, full feet working, working men or women to carry in more decoys, cool. If it's water, you do not need full bodies. You just need some floaters, maybe a spinner or two. Um, so, all in all, public land hunting, guys, don't overdo it. Don't kill yourself to get out there. I never do. I always make it as easy as possible. Uh, because I like to do the old solo dolo public land quite a bit. You know me. Um, and then I'm going to show you what I'm shooting today. Uh, this is actually the first day not having the silencer on the gun. Um, I'm excited to have it off. <laughs> I, I've, I really got used to it, but it is a lot of weight out there. It's hard to catch up to fast moving birds like teal and dove. Um, so I, I, I was excited to shoot it today. We may not, but um, as far as shells go, I am shooting, and I love these. Uh, one of my favorite shells ever. They are expensive, okay? This is a three inch, uh, five shot bismuth. Yes, I know, they are not cheap uh, at all. I don't necessarily need a bismuth, but boy, they get the job done. They get the job done. If you're new to duck hunting, you don't need to go buy BB or the big three and a halfs for ducks. Keep it light, keep it simple. Um, my Actually, my favorite load for teal is a two and three quarter five shot bismuth or four shot bismuth. That is amazing because it doesn't kick as much and that bismuth for ducks, guys, four shot, five shot, perfect. All right last tip i forgot this one this one's pretty important this is probably the most important if you're hunting public land just know there will be other people hunting it as well especially on a weekend i was really debating on coming this morning i was like you know what i just want to go so bad even if um every hole is taken i just want to go see if i can get out there you know i'll go back home if if the marsh is full i got here an hour and a half early actually like an hour and 45 minutes early and I got the last spot. This is the last spot that someone is not in that has water that I know of. Um, so technically, if someone else came in, boy, they'd be sitting on top of each other pretty much. So get here early. I don't know why I'm looking at the sky so bad, so much. Just hoping for a duck. Oh man. Well, made it home. I'm getting um, filling back in my feet. <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, the old hip waders, they leak. Both feet were wet. There should be zero reason why my feet should have been wet. Um, I just got them last year. Maybe that's why they're so cheap. I don't know. But I wish we had some birds to clean on the old tailgate. Uh, not today. Not today. Good try. Um, like I said, when I went to bed last night, I was like, man, I just got to, I got to cure the itch. I, I'm going hunting tomorrow. I don't have, like I said, I didn't have to set an alarm. Um, I think I woke up at 3.30, ready to go. And I was like, Bob, you, it felt like it was six o'clock. Woke up, ready to roll. Looked at my phone. I'm like, dude, it's 3.30. You got to go back to sleep. Dozed off a couple times. Ended up just scrolling on my phone by probably 4.30 for about 30 minutes. And then I was like, you know what? I just got to go. Let's just get out of here. Let's get the day rolling, shall we? I figured I would have shot one at least. I did not see a duck. That's insane to me. That is insane to me. By this time last year, I had shot limits and limits and limits at that marsh. There's water. 
Not as much water, but there's water. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is I'm ready for November. <laughs> I'm ready to start uh, guiding. Uh, November hits, all the birds get here, you know. It, it never changes. A lot of people been, have been asking, hey, you know, how's the water situation for the birds this year? I'm like, it, it doesn't matter where I'm at. Um, the only thing that matters is the calendar, when the birds show up. They're going to come to my area. But that's another reason why I don't guide in October for ducks. Um, they're just not all here yet. You know, it's not as plentiful per se. I do have dates in the lodge for a few folks. I'm going to head that way anyways. Uh, November, uh, two dates in November that I have room uh, for a few folks. Uh, a lot of people think that it takes four to six people to book a hunt. It does not. Minimum two uh, to get in here. So, uh, we got a lot of options. We got a really affordable option, a farmhouse option. There's no meals included, which drives down the price for y'all by a lot. But let's go in. Uh, yeah, we had another football party. <laughs> it's what I do in the off season, just watch football in here. Waiting for the clients to show up. <laughs> but the old map, I haven't showed you guys it in a while. It grew quite a bit last year. We got some more folks from California last year. Never had this going on before last year. And all this just grew. Insane. But like I said, I have some November dates. Very few December dates available. I do have December dates in the duck shack and the farmhouse though, that's for sure. And then we have uh, some January, February dates available in the lodge you guys got to come check it out if you've been looking for a place to go be able to kick your feet up uh pull the trigger not have to clean your own birds not have to cook a meal uh enjoy bert's cooking his phenomenal food um come here try us uh, i guarantee you will be satisfied you will be taken care of and it would be my pleasure to have y'all sand hill flyways is always linked down in the description if you didn't know Fill out the inquire to book form and I will be getting a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only. We are getting down to the line. So if you've been thinking about it, I would pull the trigger ASAP. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video for what it was. Uh, figured I'd just make it into a how-to video with my tips, my tricks, my secrets, uh, how I make it easiest on myself. I hope you guys can take home some of them tips. Don't have leaky waders like myself because I'm still trying to get filling back in my tootsies. Be safe out there, have fun, make some memories. The bulk of the season is almost here and I cannot wait. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.